In Autodesk Fusion 360, the creation of bodies and components typically begins with a two-dimensional sketch. Sketches are composed of geometry like lines, arcs, circles, rectangles, and splines that are created on a plane or existing flat face of a body. To create a new sketch, click the Create Sketch button on the toolbar. Then select one of the origin planes to base the sketch on. Doing so activates the sketch environment and reveals the many sketch tools available. Of these tools, one of the most commonly used is the Line tool. To create a line, click the Line button on the Create panel. Then specify the start and end point of the line segment by left-clicking the mouse on the canvas. There are several options for ending the command, including hitting either the Escape or Enter keys on the keyboard, or by right-clicking the mouse and selecting OK on the Mark menu. Note that when using the Line command, it is possible to create an arc by left-clicking and then dragging the cursor on the canvas before releasing the mouse. The more common method for creating an arc, however, is by using the Arc tool. To create an arc using this tool, click on the Create drop-down menu and select Arc. Then select the appropriate command for the type of arc being created. For a three-point arc, specify the starting point, ending point, and radius for the arc. Another commonly used sketch tool is the circle. After clicking the circle button on the Create panel, specify the center point for the circle and then set the diameter. Just like the arc, clicking on the Create drop-down menu and then selecting Circle reveals the other options for creating circles. The next commonly used draw tool is the rectangle. To create a rectangle, click the rectangle button on the Create panel. Specify the first corner of the rectangle by left-clicking the mouse on the canvas. Then move the cursor diagonally to the opposite corner and click the mouse again to set the width and height. Like the arc and circle tools, additional options for creating rectangles can be found on the Create drop-down menu. And lastly, the spline tool can be used to create a freeform curve that passes through or near a set of specified points on a sketch. To create a spline, click the Spline button on the Create panel. Then specify the starting point and additional fit points along the curve. After all points have been specified, end the command using the same options outlined for the Line tool. Finally, once all geometry has been added to an active sketch, click the Finish Sketch button to exit the sketching environment.